So I got, I got unlatched from the, from the system of this world. So what happened was is demons couldn't really influence me like they could before. Um, I got rid of fear. So like, I'm telling you, if you, if you go to heaven and you come back, you would be just like me in the sense of you would be saying the same things because you would see that really, literally, hey, man, this is all rigged in my favor. I just can't play by the devil's rules. I got to play by God's rules, and he won't come at me because he knows he can't win against you and God's ring. So he won't come to you. See, you just go like this. He won't come. He'll try to lure you away. Are you getting it? So if you stay in the secret place and you stay in his counsel and you keep the word of God before you, like, in, like here in Revelation 1.8, it says, I am the elf and the tov, says the Lord God, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. When I was with Jesus, there was, the, the, there was no future because his future is mine, is, has become now my now. Like when I was in my future, it was his now. So now my future is my now. So like he's talking to me and it's all futuristic. But it became my now. And when I came back, it hasn't even happened yet. And he showed me a stack. There was a stack of prayer requests. They were mine. That I would, he said, this is everything you're ever going to ask me. It's already signed by me. <laughs> oh, I got lots of stuff that would flip you out. But I have to like give it out a little bit at a time because I don't want to lose people over it. But God is so good that you'll be so overcome that the devils won't even mess with you anymore because they look for weak people. They look for an easy prey. They just want, they just want to have hash marks. They just want to know, say that they did something to somebody. And if they don't succeed against you, they get punished for it. So they don't want to have a failure. So they, they look for easy, an easy out, an easy way. And if you mess with them, like if you wake up and say, Boy, that lake of fire is getting hot. <laughs> and I say, I think I'm just going to take a walk through the holy fire. I think I'm going to brush my teeth with an altar coal. <laughs> you just start talking like that. You start talking about holy fire and the sapphire stone that's in 2411 of Exodus, 2410. You start talking about the throne room. Start talking about um, that the Spirit of the Lord is going to lead me today, and I'm going to change history. I'm going to help people. The angels are going to work with me. What are you doing, God? I, I always ask them, what are you doing today? I'm in. That's what he tells me. And, and I've had angel visitations, like, like that angel book back there. I wrote that in 35 days. It's, I kind of cheated. The angel gave me the title and to chapter headings, and then gave me all the scriptures for each chapter, and then instructed me on how to write it, and I wrote it in 35 days. My, when I called my publisher, I said, I just came out of an encounter, and I got to write this book. They said, well, you already signed for a book, and we, we have all these people. You don't even name all the big names that you know, and they're like, they're already in the slots, and I'm like, well, I'm sorry. Then I'll have to do it by myself. I'll just do it. I'm like, oh, no, no, we'll do it. <laughs> they said, we have to have a board meeting, so they had a board meeting, and they came out. And they said, my God, the God hit our meeting and said, do it. I said, good. They said, but you got to have it in in a month. I said, no problem. They go, <laughs> you know, it takes about a year and a half to write a book, except when you come back from heaven. So I wrote it in 35 days. The devil was so mad that I went to Phoenix after the encounter. I, I, it, my eight meetings turned into 14 churches. And they just blew up. They had to go get chairs. The churches that I used to attend, they've never been filled. They were completely full, people standing outside. And the devil was so mad while I was, do I was writing the book the whole time I'm there that the, 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 the enemy fried my laptop. So I couldn't access it. So I called my publisher. I said, a glitch, but I'm going to go check it out. They took it apart. It, they said it had been struck by lightning. I go, it wasn't struck by lightning. It rains twice a year in Phoenix. You've got to be kidding me. They said everything is completely fried by lightning except the hard drive. Do you want it? I go, hello. 
so I witnessed to the guy and told him there's an angel book on that is going to be a bestseller and I got to get it done. He said, I'll get it for you. And he went out and got it, put it on a new drive and then put it in there in my brand new laptop and the book came out and became a bestseller. It was in, in, in pre-sale. It was number one new release in pre-sale on Amazon. Okay, do, okay, so do you understand the warfare you're going through? The warfare is that God tells you to do something and you go in that way and everything is going to look like you're missing God. That's why it's so important for you to establish your relationship with God. So what is it that's in your heart? What is it that God has spoken to you about? What is it that the gifts that are in you because those things need to come out. They need full expression through you. There's some of you in here that God has already put it in your books that you're supposed to bring songs from the other realm into this realm. Write songs. There's, there's some of you supposed to write poetry, write books. There's some of you that are supposed to design clothes. I saw patent numbers beside people's names that have not even been invented yet. And it's destined for them to be given the idea from the other realm. I saw all this. And I saw that a lot of things are, not, are, are left undone because people don't understand that the limitations have been taken off of them. I saw that everyone is supposed to use both sides of their brains and both of their hands. <laughs> We're all supposed to play instruments and all supposed to sing. I mean, for instance, I took the IQ test when I came back, and I scored 159, which is a genius. But I was 106 before I went. I had to study all the time just to remember stuff. So you can do this. It's not about being a hero. It's about yielding to the hero. It's about accepting the fact that you have angels that have been assigned to implement your books. So do you understand that being rigged in your favor is allowing your spirit to be synchronized with the Holy Spirit and the angels and all of heaven starts to work with you to manifest. So then the manifest sons of God come into being. So all heaven is waiting for this. All creation is groaning that the sons of God would be revealed because they, the creation fell with us. And so they're waiting for us to be revealed so that the, everything can be restored back. And, and so you are the leadership of this earth. And if you look, the church is left out of everything. Why, why are the churches so poor? Why do only 5% of the congregations support the whole thing? Why aren't we the most prosperous people on the earth? The God of the universe created this earth for his people. When we fell, his people now are the ones that are redeemed. If you come over and be redeemed, wouldn't he want to favor you above the devil's children? Why would he want to fund abortion? My parents could have aborted me. My wife was left at an adoption agency because her parents were college students. She never knew them. She was just left. But she was born to marry me. But do you understand, her parents didn't want anything to do with her. She was a result of a party. Are you getting this? But God doesn't look at it that way. He breathed her into her mother's womb when she was impregnated. She was abandoned. But she ended up just fine. Same with me. I was born out of wedlock. I wasn't an accident, though. My dad, he used to tell me growing up, he said, you're the reason for the problem with this family. Because I was born, they had to get married. And, and they didn't know that I, if that, who's, who's a father I was. Because my mom was dating multiple people. So he was always mad at me because he thought I was that other guy. But I wasn't. I looked just like my brothers and sisters. 
that were born after me. But he had to get over that, and I was mistreated, and it wasn't my fault. I never knew why. Jesus had to tell me. When he appeared to me, I never wrote about it because I want to protect my parents. But Jesus talked to me about this and told me everything. And right after I came back from the dead, my dad called me crying and repented to me. How did he know to do that? Because Jesus told me, I'm going to take care of this for you. So when he sent me back, he said, you're not going to need anything. You're not going to have to worry about a thing. He said, you cannot fail. He told me that right before I left. So do you understand that I have a different outlook and a different approach to Christianity because I, I cheated and saw the end and then was sent back. And so I know what Jesus did for us. And I know we're being robbed every day. And I know that we have the manual that explains all this. You got six of them in your house and, and, and on your iPad. You got the Bible everywhere. However, you need the Holy Spirit to counsel you and walk you through into truth. Amen. Whoa, man. <laughs> so I just saw an angel take his sword out and, and strike the ground right there in the middle. And he said, it's finished. Amen. Now, do you understand these angels? I don't, get, I don't get the whole thing. But you understand in the book of Revelation, there is an angel that doesn't have a name, but he stands up and he puts one foot on the ocean and he puts one foot on the land and he lifts his hand and swears by him who lives forever. Man, what authority is that? And you know, in and, and, and another place he says, the kingdoms of this world have now become the kingdoms of our God. That angel had the authority to transfer over. But how would you like to meet an angel that can raise his hand and swear by him who lives forever? But see, I've encountered things like that in the other realm. And I waited all these years, 23 years before I got on Sid Roth. I couldn't talk about it. But now that I can, I am not, I'm starting to be released to talk about more. But what I'm trying to tell you is, it's about to be very accelerated for you. The release is coming. But what it is, is you got to relax into who you are. And really start to walk as a loved child of God. Okay? So you start to walk and you let him love on you. And I only let people around me that walk in that. I would rather be alone than have anybody in any way disrupt this world that I live in. I'd rather be alone. So you have to choose who you let in. And you know if you have a relationship with somebody, you encounter their battle too. You, you've just inherited it. Well, whoever you tie yourself to, I mean, you wouldn't believe it. Maybe you would. I have to be careful about who I even let into my house because sometimes they leave stuff. I have to chase it out. So I've learned that by being in a different hotel every night, I just go ahead and let the devils know. this. Just leave the whole hotel. And if they don't, I just start praying in tongues really loud. And they, they have to leave. Okay, so I'll let you go for dinner, and then we'll come back in a couple hours at 7, right? Okay, now listen to this, though. I saw, Jesus showed me, he said, I want, to, I want you to see what happens in the spirit when you pray. And he said, pray, pray right now. And I started praying. And the shock waves that came out from my spirit started going out and knocking over demonic strongholds. And demons were getting hit and getting blown back. And he said, you are effective in prayer. And he said, never stop praying. Tell people never to stop praying. Never give up. He told me, never give up. He said, stay in there and keep announcing the truth. Keep announcing where God is go taking you. I always talk about where I'm going. Okay, so just before we came here, I, I was looking, I felt a shift in my office, and we have multiple offices within a building that's not ours yet. We have the money to buy it, but they, they are not wanting to sell it yet, but they will. They're just, they need to get with God. <laughs> a 
I felt a shift and I felt an evil presence that was over in, in the studio B and we have all these different studios that we've built. So we have different sets so that I can do all my programming and don't even have to leave my neighborhood for, for the rest of my life. You know, we're, we started Warrior Notes School Ministry but we're starting Warrior Notes TV in January, so you'll be able to log on. We'll have your own, our own network. It'll have everything that you would ever need, and it, it's going to favor the partners, of course, because there's going to be daily devotionals where it's videos of me just giving you a word every day, those kind of things. We're doing all these different things. There's all kinds of programming. So anything you need, uh, we're going to provide it for you. And I felt like I should look at the camera in the upper room where we're going to broadcast for prayer. So we're going to have everybody hook up all over the world, and we're going to, you're going to pray with me an hour. I'm going to teach about prayer, and then you, we're going to have music, and then you're going to pray with me. And I'm going to teach you how to pray. We're going to log in all over the world. We're going to have people everywhere all over the world praying at one time. Okay, that's what the Lord told me to do. And it's already paid for, so don't, don't, I'm not, this, this isn't because the offering envelopes are coming. This is, this, I'm just telling you, this is what we're doing with or without you. I, I invite you. But it's already taken care of. We're paid for years. Don't worry about it. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what happened. When I logged in, you know those demons that I chased out? You know, and people think these, if you, it's like a compliment if you have these orbs in your meetings. But that, when you blow those things up, there are demons inside of them. I blow them up to, to huge, and I look inside of them, and they're, they're, they're fallen creatures. So it's not a compliment to have orbs. Oh boy, that went over well. <laughs> Angels don't need orbs. They don't even need wings. They're like this. Do you know that the angels that I have around me don't have wings? They look like men. Better looking men than some women. <laughs> but they don't need wings because they go like that. Do you know at the speed of light, at the speed of light, you can go around the earth eight times in one second. And they go past the speed of light because when they come in, if one comes in here, you'll see a flash. I don't, it's, I don't think it's happened yet. But if one comes in and stands beside me, there's like this real long stretch of light that comes behind them because they're going past the speed of light. So when they stop, all the light comes poof, 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 behind them and piles up, and it causes a flash. If you've ever seen that, if you've ever seen that in a meeting like where I, I flash, that's just an angel coming. That's not me. I'm not that good. Okay, but... The Lord told me to look, and these orbs were in the prayer room. And so I called my wife, and I, so I, st I started praying in tongues. And as soon as I did, they started, like, dashing out. And when I would stop, they would come back in. They'd go right through the walls. I have it all on film. So I said, Kathy, come here. I said, let's do some warfare tongues. We grabbed hands at my desk, and this is like on the other side of the building. We watch those things go crazy. They start running into each other and bouncing off the walls, going through the walls. So I said, let's go over there. She said, okay. So we left the lights off. Can you believe that? Pitch black, got our phones. We're logged in on the camera that's behind us, and we're watching these demons trying to sneak up. And we're like, <laughs> so why would an angel do that if you're speaking in tongues like that? Because you understand it in the name of Jesus. And you know what? It took a couple minutes, but then there was only one here and there, and I said, ah, da, 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 out. And now there's none. But they were getting hit by the power of God when we would pray in tongues in another room and we would see we would see the response of our prayers and we weren't in the room we went over to the room but we saw all these things happening sometimes from miles away this is real stuff and these demons are afraid of you so why are you putting up with all their stuff okay so can I pray for you yes. okay you don't even have to stand I want you to be overcome by the power of God right now. Because I am. The reason I'm not letting you stand is because I can't stand. I am so overcome by the power of God. Now, if I'm the one teaching and I'm overcome, I am totally changed right now. I'm completely transformed. And I wrote this. But I'm telling you, next week, when we do this broadcast on Sid, it's going to change the world. This is revolutionary. Because this is Jesus' doctrine. 
His doctrine is, I come back to defeat and destroy the works of the devil. And now I give you my name, and I want you to rule and reign. Someone's got to preach this. I have nothing to lose. I've already experienced death and loss. It's time for me to live. It's time for me to walk where no one else will. The devil doesn't have anything good to say. He has no future. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that I saw that this weekend was historical. I saw the shift that happened in every individual. I saw that the seed that is, has been put in them, deposited in the people, your, your people, it is going to take root, and I am going to receive a harvest of a hundredfold return for the seed of the word of God. And you're going to receive that, Father. But I am attached to this. These people are going to go and do everything that you have in your heart for them to do. They're going to, they're going to do it with passion. They're going to do it, Lord, with joy. Lord, I ask that you would visit us with joy. Pour out your joy right now. And release the people. Release your family, Father. They love you. They desire you. They've come and presented themselves to you right now. The oil of joy be poured out right now in the name of Jesus. Continue on into tonight full of joy. Lord, let us drink of the new wine. Oh, boy, here it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Well, that's good. Just drink drink mm -mm -mm. <laughs> he's healing you you're not going to even remember the past you're not going to even remember what you're worried about there it is drink He's too good. Pour it out, Father. Drink. I can't hear you. You're never going to be the same ever again. You're not going back. The Lord is restoring everything that's been stolen from you. Oh, yeah, devil. We're going into that laughter now. Yeah. You might want to pull out right now. Yeah, we're laughing at you. You're coming to nothing. You're powerless. Drink. You're still too sober. Come on. Drink. It's free. Angels are here. Yield. Yield to the Spirit. Oh my gosh. People are being set free. You're being healed. There's so many being he healed right now. High blood pressure is being healed. There's, there's ringing in your ears. It's going in Jesus' name. There's all kinds of heart problems being healed right now with, you, with, with your skipping a beat in your heart. It's being healed right now. 
There's sciatic nerve. There's all kinds of things happening in people's backs right now. You're being healed by the name of Jesus. The power of God is moving among his people right now. You're being healed. Your hips are being healed. There's teeth being healed. There's sinus infections, chronic sinus things going in Jesus' name. You're being healed right now. The Lord is ministering to you. He's going to show you the future. Don't get sober on me. Oh, sometimes we just need somebody to lead us in a laugh, you know? We don't need a song. We need a laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 